This is the book of John, chapter 15 and verse 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the Brother Zion, and Lord willing, this video is edifying. Okay, and as you can see, all right, the uh, book of John, the 15th chapter and the fifth verse. Okay, Yahweh Shai made a very, very important statement. All right, because at the end of the day, he knew what we will be going through here in the flesh in our captivity. You know, because he's the Lord. Okay. And uh, pretty much this statement is very true. As you can see, our current predicament, you know, as you can see the things that's happening in the, in the earth, we understand that we can't save ourselves, man. You know, that's one thing brothers got to understand. Hey, man, we're not going to we're not going to save ourselves in these latter times. We need Yahweh Shai. Without Yahweh Shai, we can do nothing. Without the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, sending his only begotten son back as that angelic force, as a power to deliver his people. We 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 in other in other words, we ain't we we can't do shit on our own, man. Excuse my French. All right. And that's just the bottom line, man. We we see all the hell coming to the earth. You know, we see the prophecies coming to pass. How are we going to escape these things? That's why Ezra's, all right, our forefather, one of our forefathers, Ezra's, he said, woe is me, woe is me, who shall deliver me in those days? Because the visions that he was seeing, he was like, yo, <laughs> you know, what the hell? How am I going to get saved from this? Which he's back. Okay, because everything is reincarnated. So that's why Yahweh Shai made this statement. I'm going to read it again. <clears throat> it's the book of John, chapter 15 and verse 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. All right? Because we, and, and that's true. Like I said, we can't do nothing without Yahweh Shai, man. All right? All right? You got a lot of Jakes out there trusting in themselves or trusting in, in, in a man in the flesh to help out, to help their situation. You know, Jake vote, voted for Biden. You know, they're not trusting in Yahweh Shai. They're not trusting in the Lord. They're going down to Egypt for help. OK, we understand that the only person that's going to uh, the only power that's going to give us true reparations or, you know, we're going to. Uh, the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. You know, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David, you know, the, 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 the Israelites, you know, the 12, the 144. All right. The, the then the earth is going to be ruled in righteousness. But right now we, we need our savior, man. I mean, that's just the bottom line. All right. Like I said, look at the earth, man. Look, look at the predicament that this earth is in. All right. So, you know, we got to wait. We got to wait on Yahweh Shai, man. This is Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 8. It says, but thou Israel art my servant, Jacob, whom I'm whom I have chosen the seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. All right. The Most High scattered us in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the Israelites. That was a curse. Those whom, uh, Salakia, though whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Verse 10, fear thou not, for I am with thee. So the Lord is with us, man. OK, especially if you uh, doing the things that you're supposed to be doing, if the Lord called you to do this work and you're doing the work, you're trying to, uh, you know, eschew evil to the best of your ability. You're trying to be righteous in this wicked ass flesh. That's why the scriptures say our righteousness are as filthy rags, man. But we're still trying to be perfect. 
Okay. Fear not for I am with thee. Be not dismayed for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea. So, hey, man, I will help thee. Okay. So the Lord has to help us, man. Yea, I will uphold thee with thy, with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were increased against thee shall be ashamed. O Salakia, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. They that strive with thee shall perish. All right. And right now, currently, these nations are above us. You know. These nations are above us right now, man, but pretty soon they're going to be beneath us. Uh, I'm going to skip to verse 14. It says, fear not thou worm Jacob and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. All right. It says, behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. Come on, man. Shh. The Lord is coming, brothers. Yahweh Shai is coming, man. Hey, and if you can't feel it, you should be able to feel it in the air. Because I, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, I have a certain feeling, man. I'm like, this is this is it, man. You know, we got to just watch as well as pray and continue to, to, to follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. Because that's our only hope. John 15 and 5, man. For without me, ye can do nothing. That's why it says, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get it real quick. In Revelation, <laughs> these are they which, which uh, follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. All right. Uh, Revelation chapter 14 and verse 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and before the elders. And no man could learn that song. And what's that song? That song is the doctrine that we're singing right now. And if you notice, a lot of guys, you, they ain't, they're not singing the right lyrics, man. They're not singing the right song. You know, they're singing a different tune. And no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. And what does the word redeem mean? To buy back. Who's going to buy us back? Who's going to redeem us? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. He's going to redeem us from this earth. And then he's going to establish his kingdom. And then if we're of the elect, we're going to rule on this earth. It says, these are they which were not defiled with women. And when you go into that word woman, it really means uh, different philosophies. All right. You weren't you weren't into different philosophies. It's not talking about literal virgins, a man that didn't have sex with a woman. Because if that was the case, then. <laughs> You, uh, was our was our forefathers were uh, did they have sex with women? Did they have children? Of course they did. Okay, first of all, you can't uh, the, you can't have a nation if you don't have sex. How can how can there be Israelites on the earth if 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 there was no sex? All right. So, but there's a doctrine out there that people actually teach that. It's talking about the philosophies, man, because wisdom is likened unto a woman. It says, for they are virgins, right, in the spirit. These are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. That means we're constantly, we're on a straight and narrow. All right, we're on the straight and narrow. We have a job to do. We're occupied. Okay. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and unto the lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. Because remember, if we're of the elect, Yahweh Shai is going to pardon us, man. He's going to pardon our sins. Okay? So we're going to be found without fault before the throne of Yahweh. Which is beautiful, man. You know? That's why the Lord said, man, in other words... You know, you need me. Hey, people, you got you got people in the churches that'll say, I found Jesus. What well, the Lord said, when you read the Bible, all right, <laughs> the Lord said, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Many are called, few are chosen. 
The Lord chooses you, man. You don't choose the Lord. The Lord uh, uh, hand picks you out. You was shy, man. And you got to be an Israelite. You got to be of the elect. All right. The Lord ain't playing, man. Uh, let's see. Is it in John 17? Yeah, man, the Lord, the Lord is, you know, the Lord is bad, man. The Lord is a bad man. John 17 and 6, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. All right? And that's what we got to do. We got to keep that word until the end, man. Many are called, few are chosen. He that endureth unto the end, the same, the same shall be saved. All right? So, yeah, man, without Yahweh Shemi Al Shai, we can do nothing, man, and understand that and understand that you can't save yourself. The Lord is not dealing with prideful men who believe that they can save themselves because when you look at the predicament that we're in and we're up against this dragon, this beast, and you think you're going to uh, go, go up against him with a, with a Glock 9, I mean, you, you, you're going to get hewn down, man. You can't fight this man currently. You got to fight him spiritually. Wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up against the prey. It's in the book of Zephaniah. Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, This is the brother Zion signing off. Shalom.